Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a chalkboard blessings basket to help my family reflect on all the things that we're thankful for in the days leading up to Resurrection Sunday. If you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Here we go. I'm going to be using some supplies sent to me by Arteza. They are not paying me. My opinions are my own. So I get to use the supplies and tell you what I think of them. And I just want to make a quick comment. Um, you will not ever hear me discuss religion or politics on my channel. That is not why I have this channel. But I do want to say that occasionally my religious views will come out in my crafts because my crafts are a part of how my family celebrates the different holidays um, that are related to our faith. And so in the comments, if you would avoid um, making snide remarks about how we celebrate Easter, words that I use, um, whether or not I use bunnies, whether or not that's right, wrong. Um, we all have our own opinions about these things and religion is something that's deeply personal. And so I will be deleting any nasty comments that appear on my channel. I have had friends who have had very nasty comments made on their DIYs and quite frankly, I'm not going to tolerate that here on my channel. So um, with that being said, let's get into the DIY project. For this project, I am using this magnetic chalkboard set sent to me by Arteza. And when I received it, I thought, oh, I might have to paint the frame, but I was pleasantly surprised when I opened the box to see that it's this pretty medium wood tone in this weathered wood. So I decided I would definitely leave that alone. The magnetic chalkboard set also comes with a set of chalk markers, which was a surprise to me. I didn't realize that. I do have other chalkboard markers that they already sent to me, which I will also use, but this was a nice assortment of colors. And then it also came with this eraser, which I thought was weird. I was like, how is this gonna work? But it does actually work and you'll see that in a little while. The chalkboard has hardware on it for hanging horizontally or vertically, so that makes it a little bit easier. They also sent me these acrylic markers, which I will also be using in this project. And these are really great for doing fine details. Um, little secret, I've actually already used these in some projects, but I just didn't do a good job of showing them, so I decided to use them again here. They do come with tweezers to switch the tips, and then this chisel tip is the tip that I seem to use the most, both on the chalk markers and on the acrylic markers. If you're interested in any of the products I'm showing to you from Arteza, there will be links in the description box below. I do receive a small commission if you purchase from these links. Then I'm also using this roll of cork that I purchased at Michael's, and then these magnet sheets that I also purchased at Michael's. The first thing to do in creating my blessings basket was to draw the basket. I decided to keep it simple and use the white chalk marker. So I switched to the chisel tip and it's really easy to switch. You just take the one tip out and stick the other one in. And then you have to press down on the marker several times to get the chalk ink flowing. And it's the same thing with the acrylic markers. And once that was flowing, I did look at designs on the internet just to see how I wanted to kind of do this. And then I just freehanded it. I started with this kind of eyeball shape and then drew the basket and then drew the handle. Um, you'll see here, I didn't like the way it came out the first time. So I grabbed that nifty eraser that came with the chalk markers and without any water, it erased the chalk. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, for smaller erasing, um, later on, I did use a slightly dampened paper towel because it allowed me to get into little spots easier. Then I redrew the basket bottom and I drew the handle and added some little lines to make it look like it was woven. Then I decided to do the writing on the top of the basket. I wanted to write the words blessings basket. So again, I looked online just to see what kind of font I wanted to use. But in the end, I think I just used my own handwriting. So, um, you know, sometimes that's the best choice because you know how to do it the best. I chose ballerina pink 
This is a chalk marker that came with the original set that they sent me. And I went ahead and wrote Blessings Basket. When I was done, I decided I wanted to add some lines to the bottom of the basket to give that woven effect. So I added those in and then I called the chalkboard drawing done. Next, I found an egg pattern on the internet that I liked that would fit and I cut it out of just some computer paper and then I used that to create my Easter eggs. So what I did to create the Easter eggs, I used my tight bond glue and attached the little magnet sheets to the cork first. And then once it, they were securely attached to the cork, then I used my Easter egg pattern and traced it and cut the eggs out of the cork and the magnet all at once. So that just saved a cutting step and then they matched up really perfectly. I cut out about nine or 10 of the Easter eggs and then I gave them all a coat. Actually, it wound up being two to three coats of paint. I used my acrylic paints mixed with a little bit of white chalk paint and that gave the paints a little bit more of a pastel look, but the chalk paint also adheres really well to the cork. So that was a good way to get the paint to adhere. The aqua paint was actually a chalk paint, so I didn't need to add any paint to that. I let the Easter eggs dry and then I grabbed my Arteza acrylic markers and I grabbed out some brighter colors in brighter pinks and blues and greens. And these are what I was going to use to decorate the Easter eggs. The acrylic marker pens made this step really easy. And I've been really pleased with the coverage of the Arteza acrylic marker pens. The paint goes on really smoothly and you get very good coverage with it. here's what they looked like when all my little Easter egg magnets were done. Then I needed a place to be able to write the blessings. So I used these little chalkboard stickers that Arteza also sent to me. They came included in the large box of chalkboard markers that I was sent. If you didn't have these, you could definitely just use either black paper or you could use black chalkboard paint to paint the centers of them. I really like these stickers. They feel like vinyl and they're kind of flexible and they adhered very well to the Easter eggs. Once each of my Easter egg magnets had a little chalkboard on it, I grabbed some brightly colored chalkboard markers. I used several from the set that came with the chalkboard and I decided to start our blessings basket with things that I am thankful for. So I wrote family and home and friends and YouTube friends. And the great thing about this project is that you can make as many eggs as fit your family and you can continue to fill them in throughout the Easter season. So you could ask your children or your spouse what they're thankful for and put those on the, on the eggs as well. You can have your kids write on them. And since they're erasable, that's, you know, if they make a mistake, you can erase it. For our family, we are thankful for what Christ did when he came. And this is a good way to reflect on the other things that we are thankful for in our lives during the season leading up to the Resurrection Sunday. And because they're magnetic, they just stick to your basket. And then when the Easter season is over, you can pack away the eggs and wipe the board off and use it for some other purpose. So that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how you can create a blessings basket and then you can reuse this chalkboard for other seasons to come. If you like this kind of content, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel where I upload thrifting, decor, and DIY videos. And of course, you can always find me on Instagram at Nicole North Garden. Thanks for watching.